In this video, I am going to show you how to set up a points and rewards program for your WooCommerce store. This is basically a system where your customers earn points for completing specific actions on your store. Let's say if somebody buys a product from you or they leave a review or maybe they refer their friends to come buy something on your website. These points can then be converted into a discount code that they can use on their next order. Setting up a system like this on your store has so many benefits. Like first, it is a very good way to engage with customers anytime they shop from you. Then this is the easiest way to build a loyal customer base and encourage repeat purchases because you give customers a reason to keep coming back to your website. For instance, if I go to a particular website, spend $500, and I automatically get 500 points that will give me maybe a $50 discount on my next order. First, I would definitely want to buy more stuff so that I can earn more points. Then I will likely come back next time to buy something else just to take advantage of the discount. The point is, each transaction opens the door for the next one. And the most efficient way to set up a system like this on WooCommerce is by using the WP Loyalty plugin. Just open your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, select add new plugin, search for WP Loyalty. You will see it right here, points and rewards for WooCommerce by WP Loyalty. This plugin makes it super easy to create reward programs where customers earn points for different actions like buying stuff, signups, reviews, referrals, or even sharing your product on social media. So go ahead, install, and activate this plugin. Now you will see WP Loyalty on your WordPress menu. Click on it. To make it easier for you, they have this onboarding process that will help you set up your first loyalty program. Here you can select the type of program you want to offer, either points or referrals. Right now, I want to create a system where customers earn points whenever they buy something on my website. So I'll select points, then click create. For the next step, you can set the number of points customers will earn when they spend a specific amount on your store. Let's say I want to set it up in a way that customers will earn 100 points whenever they spend $100. That's like one point for each dollar spent. Then click create to proceed to the next step. Here, you will set how customers will redeem their points. Let's say I want to set it up in a way that 500 points will give customers a $20 discount. Remember, customers will earn 100 points for every $100 they spend on my store. And with this, I am basically saying by the time a customer earns up to 500 points, that means they spend $500, they will get a $20 discount. So with this in place, click Create. That will bring you over to the next step where you can select the color theme for your brand. You can pick from any of these default colors or you can click here to set your own custom color. Now click create. Do you want to install launcher add-on? Just click yes. This will basically add a my reward widget on the front end of your website and that will make it easier for customers to track their points and all those kind of stuff. Then click create to move to the next step. Here you can review your setup and everything looks good to me. So I'll just go ahead and click continue. Now launch WP Loyalty to finish the setup process. At this point, if I go to my website, refresh, you see that this My Rewards widget has been added to the front end of my website. And if I click on it, here customers will see the total number of points they have earned. If they click end, they will see different ways they can end points right here. For now, I have points for purchase and they can basically see the details. And let's say after a customer has earned some points and they want to convert it to a coupon code that they can use on their next order, they'll just go to redeem and they'll see all the details right here. Another way customers will get all this information is to go to the account. Here you will see that a points and reward option has been added to their dashboard. And on this page, customers will see the number of points they have, the number of points they have redeemed, and all those kind of stuff. So to test this out, let me just try to buy 
something from my store. Select this for instance, add to cart, and then proceed to checkout. Customers will also see this notification on the cart page. Complete your order and earn 620 points for a discount on a future purchase. And something like this can actually motivate people to proceed with the purchase. So I'll proceed to checkout. After completing the order, now customers will see this message. You've earned 620 points for this order. You have a total of 620. If I click my rewards, you will see that 620 points has been added to my account. And I can easily redeem these points. Go to my rewards then click redeem here i can enter the number of points i want to redeem maybe let's say i'm going to redeem all 620 points that will give me a 24.8 dollars discount so click redeem i'll go to my rewards again then redeem click my rewards go to coupons this is the coupon code for my next order now all of this process is done for you automatically you don't need to create the coupon codes manually and all of those kind of stuff. Everything is automated. Now, if I copy this um, coupon code, let me try to buy something else. Let's see how that will work. Maybe pick this particular product. Add to cart. Then here, I'm going to paste my coupon code. Click apply coupon. You can see now a $24.8 discount has been added to the total value of my cart. The good thing is customers will still end points for this particular order. So this is a good way to encourage people to buy more stuff and also to encourage them to come back next time to get something else. Now, if you go to your WP loyalty dashboard, here you will see how your business is performing. The total number of points customers have earned on your store, the number of rewards, the total value that has been redeemed, the number of orders, and the value of the total orders. If you go to customers, you see the customer details. Then if you go to campaigns here, you will see all the loyalty campaigns you have set up. You can edit this campaign if you want to, or you can even create a new campaign. Then if you go to rewards, you see the different reward programs that you have set up. Then you can go to add-ons. You see the launcher add-on right here. If you open it, you'll be able to customize the launcher. You can edit the design, the content, and stuff like that. Also, if you go to settings, this will give you a lot of options that you can use to customize the WP loyalty program on your website. These are stuff that you can do at your convenient time. If you go to display messages, you'll be able to customize the messages customers will see on your store. Like for instance, after making the order, customers will see you've earned so so and so number of points. You can customize that from here. Just go to thank you page and this message, you can customize it. And you can also do the same for the checkout, the cart, and the product. Here you can select where you want the message to appear. Is it before or after? the add to cart that's really up to you then if you go to branding you'll be able to customize the colors and the icons but i'll just use the default setup for now then go to customer reward page remember the reward page i showed you earlier you'll be able to customize this page from here let's say if i want to show reward opportunity section i'm going to make it visible save changes now if i come over here refresh you see the rewards opportunities section has been added and you can customize this whichever way you want. You can customize the colors, the icons. Then if you go to emails here, you can customize the emails that will be sent out for different events. Let's say if a customer ends some point, you can edit the email that will be sent to the customer. And there are some short codes that will help you customize this email. Once you are done with all of this, just go ahead and click save changes. At this point, let's say you want to create reward programs for different actions like maybe referrals, reviews, sign up, and many more. You will need to get the pro version of this plugin. Everything we've done so far 
has been on the free version but if you want to get access to more features you can get one of their pro plans the starter plan is 79 dollars per year for one website the professional plan 103 dollars per year for three websites then the agency plan is 159 dollars per year for up to 10 websites and each plan comes with a 14 days money back guarantee so you can basically select the plan that works best for you i also have a coupon code that will give you a special discount when you subscribe to any of these plans both the link and the coupon code will be in the description below after downloading the pro plugin i'll go back to wordpress go to plugin select add new plugin and then upload the WP Loyalty Pro plugin. Install and activate it. Now I am going to set up a referral program where customers can end points by referring people to buy products on my store. So come over to campaigns, click create new. There are different campaign types that you can create on the pro version, sign up, write a review. This is where customers will end points whenever they leave a review on your product. Then customers can also end points on their birthdays, sharing your product on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp. You can also create campaigns where customers can end points by sharing your emails or by following you on social media. Right now, I'm going to select referral. For the campaign name, I'm going to use refer and end points as a name. You can add a description. You can set a campaign icon but i'll just stick to the default icon then you can set the type of reward the existing customer will get that's the customer that is referring their friends i'm going to set this to points then for the points reward type you can use fixed points or percentage of the referral sale value if you use percentage that means the customer will get a certain percentage of the amount the new customer spends on your store but I'm going to use fixed points, then set the points to 500 points. That means customer will earn 500 points anytime they refer their friends to buy a product on my store. Then you can also set the reward that the new customer will get. I'll also set these to points. Then use fixed points, set the points to 500. Then you can also set a campaign start date and an end date. This can be very helpful, let's say, if you are running the promotion for a specific period of time. Then for the campaign visibility, I like to set it to show. That way, customers will see this opportunity from the end tab right here. But if you don't want, you can set it to hide. That's really up to you. But I'll use show. You can further customize your campaign by adding conditional rules. Let's say you want to set certain conditions before customers will be eligible for this campaign. You can do that from here. And once you are done with all the setup, just go ahead, click save and close. This is our second campaign, refer an endpoint. And if I go over to the front end, refresh. On the loyalty page, now there are two ways to end, by buying stuff and then through referrals. Also, if I click on the My Rewards widget and then go to N, you see two earning opportunities right here. N for purchase and then refer an endpoint. And customers will also see their referral code. So this is like you setting up a referral program on your website automatically. You don't need a separate login to be able to do this. So if a customer gets this link, send it to their friends or whatever, and they come over, and buy something on your store the customer will earn 500 points and the new customer will also earn 500 points which they can redeem for coupon codes on their next order so i think this is one of the most important plugins you should have on your woocommerce store if you want to boost your sales so go ahead install this plugin try it out and let me know what you think in the comment section so guys i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions drop them in the comment section i'll be there answering your questions and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one